Okay. They're two of the most iconic swordsmen in video game history, known for taking on things way out of their league. Link, the champion of Hyrule. And Cloud Strife, guardian of the life stream. And Orphans. Since both combatants use such vast player customizable arsenals, in this scenario they will wield what they are most comfortable taking into battle. These are the weapons they choose to take no, into their no, fighting no, games. No, no, However, no, since no, standard no, no, skills, no, no, weapon no, traits, and armor aren't no, specified no, in Dissidia and Smash, no, no, we're taking those from their whole story. And remember, in death battle, there is no outside help allowed. Ah, oh, but Boomstick, they have summons, and they're cool, and fairies, and a shut up! It's our show, and this is the way we do it. I'm Wizard, mm -hmm. and he's Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, weapons, armor, and skills, skills to find out who would win, win a uh, death, death battle. battle. Link is the legendary multi-incarnate hero of the Hyrule Kingdom. Humble and brave, he has battled the forces of evil for over ten generations. Each fairy hero is Link! <laughs> to each other! No, Boomstick, he's not a fairy. Horny ears, tights, magic, and look at that hair! Fairy! Every incarnation of Link bears the spirit of the hero, bestowing the unbreakable will and combat prowess of each previous owner. Since he's got over ten links of learning to work with, he's an expert with tons of weapons and magic, especially his iconic Master Sword. This double-edged blade was forged by the goddess Hylia to slay powerful demons. It repels evil and deflects light-based magic. And when Link's in top shape, he can shoot beam thingies out of it. Why this changes when he takes a hit, I don't understand, but hey, lasers! When low on energy, the Master Sword can still launch the Skyward Strike by calling upon power from above. In addition, it utilizes three magical medallions. However, the Master Sword is far from Link's only weapon. He's got some deep pockets. Mm -hmm. He somehow carries around a boomerang and tons of bombs, bomb along with a hookshot which lets him zipline his way around and bring things to him. Man, that really would have helped to get that last beer all those times on the couch. Probably still be married. Doubt it. Link is an excellent archer and uses the hero's bow in conjunction with several different arrow types. However, much of Link's arsenal is more yeah. suited to exploration than combat. Which is why he hides behind several layers red of defense, defense, like the red ring, which reduces his injury by 75%. The Golden, Golden Gauntlet Gauntlet. braces his arms against intense pressure, though do not increase striking power. He also Ooh, carries three Iron different Blue pairs Blue. of boots. Three, huh? Killing Told you he's a fairy. The Iron Boots uh -huh. weigh 130 pounds, the Hover Boots float in midair, and the Pegasus Boots with attached rocks feather increase Link's speed and agility to superhuman levels. But his best defense is the Hylian Shield. Yeah. Originally crafted by the Thunder Dragon Laneru, the Hylian Shield is completely indestructible. Link also has a little help from the goddesses via the Try force and courage. This tiny golden triangle embodies his ability to beat overwhelming odds. He is a puzzle solver, analyzing and exploiting his opponent's weaknesses even when there is only one possible means of winning. But while Link has the necessary tools to take on any opponent, mm -hmm. his over-reliance on inventory over pure skill leaves him vulnerable. Still, mm -hmm. anyone who can fight a guy three times his size while wielding a sword twice as large as he is is a badass in my book. With so many weapons and skills, there are few who can stand a chance against the hero of Hyrule. Plus, if he dies, we can always just clap and bring him back to life. He's not a fairy. Guardian of the life stream is no ordinary swordsman. There's no way around it. He's a fucking super soldier. But damn, he's in desperate need of a haircut. Impulsive and moody, Cloud strove to join the illustrious soldiers of the Shinra organization. Instead, he was forcefully exposed to Mako poisoning, a raw energy drained from the planet itself. And somehow it gave him all the memories of his dead buddy Zack, including his first class soldier training. Thanks, strangely convenient planet poison. That's not all Cloud inherited from his friend. His main weapon is Zack's Buster Sword. A colossal single-edged blade. With his strength, Cloud can swing this much faster than any normal human. Holy shit! Look at it! That's a man sword right there! The Buster Sword contains two slots for materia, condensed Mako that grants magical abilities. However, since their creation damages the planet, Cloud has limited his materia use. He typically carries the Firaga materia, which shoots fire at things. And in the last slot, we're given Cloud his most iconic materia, Thundaga. This materia can shoot electricity and summon light 
Lightning Bolt. Cloud has an encyclopedia's worth of anger issues, which actually works to his advantage. He can channel his rage limit into break. extremely powerful Laser limit break cloud. attacks. Laser These emo charged Laser. limit breaks range from paralyzing Laser. foes with cross slash to launching Laser. meteors from his sword. Fight. But his deadliest is the Omni Slash, a move so fast and powerful it practically guarantees victory. As he doesn't carry any other materia, Cloud obviously wears Zedric armor. While this magical band has zero materia slots, it grants the wearer an extraordinary amount of defense and halves damage received from elemental, magical, and physical effects. Also, Cloud wears a ribbon, which makes him immune to all status effects like burns and stuns. Well, I guess that makes it worth wearing a friggin' chick accessory. Cloud is brash and aggressive, but not the brightest fighter. He often relies on overpowering opponents through sheer ferocity and brute strength. Like a badass, you don't need to think too hard when you're strong enough to cut through friggin' skyscrapers. Cloud's single-handedly taken down quite a few powerhouses, like the giant Bahamut Sin and planet-busting Severa. He's even been completely impaled and shrunk it off like it was nothing multiple times i mean look at this shit it's impossible to deny cloud's superhuman abilities mm -hmm. make him one of the deadliest swordsmen in video game history Bizarre. even if he looks like a girl <sighs> Are set. I think I'm gonna Let's go with end this debate once and for all. But first, I command you to obey the following message. Stupid not to do that right after this death battle. battle. Fight. It's fast, but the fight already started already. There's no reason. Come on, Link. Oh, this fight is awesome. <laughs> oh dear. Look at that animation there. It kind of looks like a wonky. I don't know what kind of animation they use to animate this battle. I'm pretty sure they're doing this. They're doing this for the same reason. Okay, that's good. KO, let's go. Whoa! Jack went up for the fairy guy! That was awesome! In what might be it the is. closest duel Link. in death Link. battle Link. history, Link. Link's combination Link. of arsenal Link. and strategy Link. were that's just enough to defeat Cloud's brute force. Not to mention his items helped him match Cloud's superhuman abilities. Cloud may be powerful, but Link's golden gauntlets were stronger. In Ocarina uh -huh. of Time, Link used them to lift and throw an enormous column of granite. As granite weighs 166 pounds per square foot, mm -hmm. this means Link can withstand over a thousand tons of pressure, surviving any of Cloud's assaults. Cloud should have had his mind on more than just the Master Sword. The winner is Link. Yep, this one. It is scientifically proven that people enjoy death battle and other screw attack content more if it... Let me know if you want me to react to the next death battle in the comments. So, uh, I might be reacting to... Batman vs. Spider-Man Next Because in my opinion So I might do the reaction So anyway guys I'll see you all tomorrow Goodbye everyone